Some car manufacturers are considering phasing out AM radio on their newer vehicles. With more on this, we are joined by Matt, Mike Agarbo of Get Connected Media. And of course, Mike, we're talking about uh, electric vehicle makers. Um, I understand that there's a problem with the, the frequency of AM radio. Explain to us what's going on here. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I have a Tesla myself, and when I got it, uh, I noticed that I couldn't get AM radio. Of course, we all love CKNW 980 here in Vancouver, and I just thought, I guess they don't have AM radio in the future. But it turns out that uh, the AM radio signals uh, uh, interfere with uh, what's happening inside the electric vehicles. So some of these manufacturers have basically opted not to put uh, that capability in their cars. But officials down in the U.S. are concerned about that because AM radio is a great way to broadcast emergency messages the reach of it is just fantastic so they're pushing to actually mandate that all EVs uh, have the the AM radio capability built in in all future models so so far uh, companies like Hyundai uh, and Toyota said that they are going to be incorporating uh, AM into their uh, cars uh, but they said it is a big technical uh, challenge for them hmm could that be a safety concern if uh, the frequency is you know uh, having an impact on the vehicle itself uh, um, I guess, well, that's why they're not putting it in there. I don't know what it does to the vehicle. I think it harms the AM signal more than uh, the AM signal harms the uh, the car itself. But okay. uh, uh, hopefully I can uh, get AM radio in the future. All right. <laughs> Speaking of the future, this story is a, a little bit freaky. I don't really like this idea here, Mike. Uh, <laughs> but a company says that we'll soon be able to talk to AI versions of our loved ones who have passed away. Yeah, it's a metaverse company called Somnium, uh, virtual reality, you know, basically you'd put on a, a headset. Uh, they say with all the advancements in AI technology and these large language models like ChatGPT, uh, you know, they figure in the next few years you could input enough data to create a digital avatar of uh, your your loved one uh, who or dead loved one. Uh, and then, you know, a lot of details about uh, their personality and, and things like that. And you would be able to interact with this uh, person in in the future. Uh, they say that it's something that uh, they're working on right now and is coming sooner than you think. Uh, you know, with the advancements with chat GPT, they said, you know, uh, before it was about five years uh, before they thought they could make that happen. Now they've reduced that by two years down to three years. So uh, kind of weird and creepy, but might be comfort uh, for some people. All right. And uh, some in the tech community mourning today because the uh, co-founder of Intel has passed away. Yeah, this is kind of sad. Uh, Gordon Moore, uh, he was one of the co-founders of uh, Intel. Uh, I think back in 1968, he passed away at age 94. Uh, Intel, uh, one of the biggest chip companies in the world that uh, you know basically revol revolutionized uh, computing. He was the one that came up with uh, Moore's Law as well that basically said every two years computing power would uh, double. So, uh, you know, all us uh, tech folks and nerds are in mourning this week. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, may he rest in peace. And, and just very uh, quickly this morning, you got a gadget for us for spring cleaning. Yeah. Who knew you could uh, make smart uh Power tools, uh, uh, smart. Uh, sorry, power tools, smart. Uh, Karsher, this is uh, a brand that makes a lot of uh, uh, different types of tools. They've got a uh, uh, pressure washer, the K5 full control pressure washer that can connect to your smartphone via Bluetooth. It's got a little LCD display on the handle, but basically you can tell the app uh, what you're doing, whether you're kind of spraying down your driveway, uh, your car, your deck, and it'll automatically adjust uh, the pressure for you. And mm -hmm. it's got a really cool setup mode as well through the app that kind of walks you through everything so uh makes uh, life a little bit easier all right in case you need a new gadget in your garage uh mike thanks so much for joining us thank you all right and uh